For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I wanted to spend a few minutes recapping week 13. At this point in our process, we should have now completed our data collection and our data uh, analysis. For the qualitative information that you have collected, you're going to complete the coding process going through three to four levels of coding, coming up with initial codes first, very specific codes, and then using or following an inductive process, follow up with level two, level three, and possibly even level four uh, codes that will allow you to come up with themes that are relevant to answering your research questions. In some of your cases, you'll be also, uh, you'll analyze quantitative information, thinking about frequencies, counts, averages. Once you've completed this process, once you've completed all of the analysis, then you need to determine what to include and what to leave out. Once you've determined what you want to include, then you need to determine the order in which you want to present the two to four key sections. Much like what you did in developing your literature review section, you'll need to come up with a level two heading, two to four level two headings, to indicate the organizational pattern that's going to be most suitable for answering your research questions. And we talked in our tutoring session last week, different options for organizing those level two headings. Then when you're thinking about your body paragraphs, thinking about the meal plan and how you want to develop your ideas throughout your each of your sections, determine whether or not you're going to include results and discussion within the same paragraph and when it's best to separate those two and create one paragraph with the results and a following paragraph for the discussion. Each body paragraph, however, should have a topic sentence should begin with the main idea and should conclude with a linking sentence or a summarizing sentence. At the end of the day, we want to make sure that we have a good balance between evidence and analysis. Remember that according to the meal plan, the evidence sentence for our purposes for this section, the results and discussion section, evidence sentences indicate results. The analysis represents your discussion. Finally, in this section, we also want to compare and contrast our results and our discussion to that of the literature. So you may include citations. You should include, in fact, some citations in the results and discussion section coming from the same references that you included in the literature review, not necessarily, though, the same citations. You could have the same ideas that you cited in the literature review, but you could also have other ideas coming from the same articles that you used in the lit review to compare and contrast in your body paragraphs and your results and discussion section. Again, you can compare and contrast results and or your discussion. So we're going to continue this week, week 13, working on a results and discussion section. Make sure you're reaching out and contacting me if you have any questions, especially uh, when you are determining the order in which you want to present your ideas. Once you've completed the coding process, if it's not immediately clear how you would like to organize those two to four key sections, then let me know and we can discuss it. Otherwise, continue working. And our goal is to try to complete it by May 17th so that that allows one more week to finalize the introduction and conclusion paragraphs and anything else that we need to work on or look at for the entire paper. Our main deadline will be 12 o'clock noon on May 24th, 2024. That's going to be our due date for completing the entire paper. The following week, we'll begin with our mock presentations. So again, make sure you're reaching out if you do have any questions, and we'll see everybody in your next tutoring session.